It is Friday, the 22nd of March, and I did it. I got a new game. Princess Peach Showtime released today. Uh, the princess's first standalone adventure uh, for over a decade, and I have played all of one hour of it so far, and it is a good game. I'm very excited to play more of it. Um, I wanted to get that series going today, like getting the episodes up on YouTube, but I'm actually going to hold off on that since Kirby actually wraps up on Sunday, and that's not too far away, right? So that Princess Peach can start unobstructed on its own on Monday. I've got Monday and Tuesday recorded, so that'll be good. I'll probably put out a short for Princess Peach Showtime tonight just because it's, I don't know, people are probably going to be searching for the game, so it would just make sense from a uh, like a discovery perspective. People that want to see stuff from that game are going to be looking a lot this weekend, so it would just be intelligent of me to do that. But uh, that aside, I am so gosh darn spoiled that that's not the only cool like video game thing happening today. I am also going to be streaming Crowd Control Super Mario 64, which I think I talked about yesterday, the day before. In fact, I'm literally about to start streaming it. You can see myself there. Hi. <laughs> Getting ready to do it. Um, I'm going to hit live here in the next five minutes, so... Right now, I'm just testing everything, making sure everything works. Uh, my computer is not the greatest. I've mentioned before that I need serious up Ooh, excuse me, hiccuping, serious upgrades on it. So I was a little bit uh, worried, I guess, for lack of a better word, to see how it would handle something like this. And right now, you can see here the uh, the CPU utilization is only 1.7%. And if you don't have any like frame of reference for that i'll let you know that uh when i play a game on the switch and i just record it not even stream it it usually is hovering around three to four percent cpu utilization i guess something routing through the capture card and how it has to uh shoot what's the word i'm not a technical savant i don't know all of this but i do know <laughs> that it's utilizing less cpu now than it would at this instance if i were streaming you know mario kart or something which is good which is good um I, I thought it might be the opposite considering the machine the computer is also running the game alongside the streaming part of it the obs but i guess it's fine i guess it's fine ultimately it's not fine until it is fine so we need to actually play this a little bit stream it a little bit and then we'll see if it was fine or not and wouldn't you know it went freaking amazingly <laughs> It was so good. Um, so a number of reasons made it good. Let's, I guess, start with what I think was the most impactful. Number one, it ran well on the computer. Everything went off without a hitch. It continued to utilize less resources than a normal stream using the Switch, which still is kind of baffling, but good all the same. Uh, let me turn off the heater. It's a little cold, so I got the the space heater running, but, um, so it was good for that reason, but then good number two, because it seemed to be immensely entertaining to all the people that showed up. Uh, there were a number of unfamiliar faces, which is always fun to see. Um, I love the consistent community that we've built, right? The same group of people that show up for every single stream, all stream, they carve time out of their Fridays to make it. And I think that's amazing. But uh, but it was cool to see like new people come specifically for that game and uh, and have a good time. And then what's more, a lot of people engaged with the crowd control. That was something that I was a little bit, I don't know about apprehensive or worried, but curious to see whether or not people would engage with it because it does take money, right? You get you get fifty free coins and you can do plenty of stuff with that because I lowered all the uh, like coin redemption thresholds. But uh, but people people were redeeming stuff all, all stream and, and making my life extraordinarily problematic in pursuit of my goal. I did achieve the goal. I uh, The goal was Mario 64 to get to the basement, and that's like the first, I don't know, 20% of the game or something like that. And I did it. It took me like an hour and 15 minutes because people were killing me. People were making me start stages over people were inverting controls people were making me too fast too slow it was great <laughs> it was great and something that was mentioned by zachary beachy actually specifically in the chat was i mean not not necessarily specifically he didn't say that i don't do this but it got me thinking that i need to make more cut-ups of my streams i need i need to make more i guess call them highlights or something like that i need to make edited videos out of the streams 
because not everyone has time, right, for a full hour, hour and a half, two hour long VOD, uh, number one. Uh, and number two is it's just good content. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of fun moments in there. And part of me wants to just like the whole thing is great. And it is, or at least I try to make the whole thing great. But if you pick, you know, the top like whatever, the, the, the top 20 percent moments, whatever, the best 20 percent of the entirety of it, you probably got yourself a pretty decent video. So maybe I'll look into doing some of that this weekend or the coming week. Um, weekend's going to be busy, but I mentioned that already. Thankfully, I finished up on the Sunday special video for this weekend. I did that today. And I also recorded two episodes of Princess Peach, so that's set for Monday, Tuesday. So I am in a position where I do have a little bit of time. It just depends on how much time the other things that I have going on take. Either which way. We'll cross those bridges when we come to it, and we'll just see where the chips fall. So I'm going to end this here, and actually, when I think about it, I'm going to work on that a little bit. Well, shoot, I've got other things to work on, too. I don't know. I'm going to work. <laughs> we'll say. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and hope that you enjoyed yourself, and I hope that you were able to maybe experiment with something that went well for you today, much like crowd control did for myself. And I hope that I see you again tomorrow.